First unscrew the plastic bolt. Remove the kick panel. Open the glove compartment and remove the latch. Gently unsnap the glove box and remove. Next, remove the two screws located at the bottom of the glove box compartment. On the underside of the vehicle trim, there are two plastic rivets. Grip the rivet heads and pull to remove. Unsnap the trim. Next, remove the three screws located behind the vehicle trim. Unsnap the side panel. You can use the pry tool if needed. Gently pull on the edge of the panel. It's not necessary to remove the entire panel to access the certification ECU. First, we're going to remove the top and bottom connector at the certification ECU. Gently push in the tab and pull on the plastic base. Do not pull on the wires. Next, connect the T-harness labeled 1 in line to the top vehicle connector. Connect the T-harness labeled 2 in line to the bottom vehicle connector. Make sure the connectors snap completely into place. Now we are going to head to the driver's side of the vehicle. Unscrew the two screws located at the bottom of the lower dash panel. Using the pry tool, remove the side panel. Pull down the lower dash panel using the pry tool if necessary. You may want to unclip the accessory wires for easier access. Remove the black 54 pin connector from the vehicle. To do so, insert a flat headed screwdriver into the top of the connector and press down on the tab. With the tab pressed, rotate the top of the connector downward and remove the connector. You may need to disconnect the other vehicle connectors for easier access. Once the black connector is removed from the vehicle, locate the green wire at pin number 39 and the purple wire at pin number 25. Cut the purple wire in middle and strip the ends. Then strip the green wire in the middle. We will now connect the wires from the cable labeled BAT16 All to the vehicle's wires. Tap the purple and yellow striped wire to the green wire. Next, connect the blue and black striped wire to the purple wire on the connector side. Then connect the yellow and red striped wire to the purple wire on the vehicle side. The wiring should look like this. The blue and black striped wire should be attached to the vehicle's purple wire connector side. The yellow and red striped wire goes to the vehicle's purple wire vehicle side. And then the purple and yellow striped wire to the vehicle's green wire. You must connect the wires to the correct side of the vehicle's purple wire or the remote start will not work. Cover the exposed wires with electrical tape. Run the wire behind the center console. You may need to remove the panel on the passenger side to better access it. Plug it into the plug labeled immobilizer on the main T-harness. Installation is now complete. Secure the module and T-harness with the included zip ties.